I solve the problem. So my ma main job is fixing or developing something. Everything is a process. It starts from input and it ends at the output. And uh, there's a lot of uh, sophisticated processes in between these input and output. And now another element is there's the hardware and the software. But uh, basically the tools or computers are basically the same. If anything can be processed instantaneously and uh, if the memory is infinite, I think uh, we can predict the future. No, once my song is written, I treat the same as a uh, song written by someone else. Uh, or, on the other hand, if I try to play someone else's song, I pretend like I wrote this song. So, uh, because that's the best way to memorize the songs uh, written by someone else. If you are just reading through the music to uh, play that song, it's, it's a, it, there's a time delay, but if you understand that I wrote this song, then I can be much freer. Okay, um, the whole purpose or why I like the jazz above all the other music is, is it's a music for the freedom. And uh, this is what I've been seeking throughout my life, to be free as I can be. That's the purpose of improvising, improvisation. And um, when I improvise, or if I make a good improvisation, um, I don't think about anything. If I think about it, oh shit, the drummer is uh, dragging, it's no good. It's, it's not gonna work that way. So whatever happens, you have to go with it. And also don't think, just that it's an instantaneous uh, call and response. Whatever I hear, I respond. And whatever I produce, someone else responds. And then I respond, but without thinking process. Even I'm playing solo guitar, I, I respond to what I played previously, you know, one note before, and vice versa. And may, maybe my hand slipped somewhere. I didn't intend, but actually I don't intend anything. So it's everything is okay. And, and uh, what, what's important is whatever you did, if you think, oh shit, I made a mistake, then it's gonna become a mistake. But if you, whatever happens, you go from there. You, you, you create a new arrangement, why not? Right? So um, that's my concept of, of uh, improvisation. Well, everything, as far as the, the physics are concerned, everything, well, we divide everything small and small and small, it becomes the elementary particles. These different elementary particles interact and react to each other and that composes something new. These behaviors, I call it uh, elementary particle dancing. They are just dancing. You know, they're just floating around and dancing and all of a sudden they become together. In this process, or in this process, they create the energy. And uh, that energy is basically the whole uh, foundation of this uh, whole existence to me. It's, it's even the con it's a consciousness too. It's, it's, a, uh, it's not only the physical uh, event, how, how we think, how we think what's right or wrong, all these things are basically based on those elementary particles. It's very clear forces 
but it's, 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 the combination is almost infinite. So you can, not maybe someone, something becomes as a plastic, something becomes as a wood, so, you know, something becomes as a, the cells of the, the, our bodies, um, something becomes as our thoughts, something becomes, uh, you know, natural disasters. Like I, I said earlier, for example, if we can predict the future by this infinite memory of instantaneous processing speed with 100% of severance of everything happening, so we can even predict um, what's going to happen, even the tsunami comes. For example, if sun is created, it's, we already know their beha it, its behavior. You know, it, it's, it's a nu nuclear fusion going on inside that producing the uh, energy as a radiation that, that, that gives us a light and heat. And uh, once we know that, it's not gonna last forever. We can, if we have more precise information, like uh, I said, the higher, processing power, we can predict when the sun's going to die. But what I'm saying is preventing, preventing some disaster is a good thing or a bad thing. That's another question. If people are supposed to die, they die. Why don't let them die? That's another way to look at it. Maybe forget about all these fears, you know, when the sun's going to die or some some metal is going to hit here, or some earthquake is going to hit somewhere. Um, maybe just let it be. Maybe well, it's it's uh, it's it's the idea of just uh, coping with something, you know, just uh, learn to cope with something. Um, undesirable event, but um, I, I really don't know w w which is better, you know. It's a right and wrong is a very interesting concept because uh, um, it's more, more like to do with the agreement, you know, what is right or wrong. You, you can't just decide everything, what is right or what is wrong. It's kind of a, uh, it's a collective consciousness to decide what's right or wrong. So it may, it may become a different time to time. The music has a certain structure and the tempo. Um, it's it's moving in in we can hear the time you know if without the music well we can see the time how the celestial object moves in the sky but that's the only way we can recognize the time but the music we can hear the time it has a certain eff effect on on our body and mind. I mean, that's why people dances, you know? It's uh, the, because it's now, while they are dancing, they can feel much freer, you know, because you're just synchronizing your body to the music. And, um, and no matter how long it is, it's uh, five minutes, 10 minutes, it's, it becomes a pleasure. <laughs>